Okay, welcome to race number three here at Decatur uh, for uh, round number three for the Sim Gem series, and I am Axiom. Anyway, guys, welcome to welcome to Decatur, one of the most historical tracks. Um, we have a counter in the ICC. Well, for Sim Gems, well, it's not part of the brand, but Sim Gems raced here last year, last year. And two years and two years before last year, which was a clusterfuck, but let's not get into that detail. But anyway, but anyway, anyway, we actually got a lot of news, so uh, it's going to be a bit, okay? Uh Um so Takamoto got a points lead for the So rookie leading the points chart for the first time since Jason Perko and uh, uh, like three years ago at this point, yeah. So yeah, uh, interesting scenario. But but here's but here's the big kicker. Um, during the weekend, there was a there was a violent uh, there was a violent collision between Kazuki Takamoto. Wait, no, not the Simonacci, excuse me. But 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 not the Simonacci and Carl Collins. Carl Collins like. Like it was like it, it was such a nasty impact. Ugh. But but Carl Collins turned to be okay while Supernachi turned out turned out not to be okay, but some as he was diagnosed with a broken rib. But somehow, in some way, he's racing. Yeah. Yeah. It's the stubborn boy he is, but however though, Supernachi is on medical watch. Uh, because next race is gonna be at Michigan, which is going to be even more dangerous. Honestly, due to the speed, but but yeah, but I don't know. I don't know how Superman is gonna handle about that part. But but Kumba has already. Uh, they already have. They already got their backup plan in store in case Superman does not does not turn the race. So that would not be announced until until the coming few days. Okay. So that's enough of that crap. Uh, enough with all the pr enough with all the uh, the news. Uh, let's get to the starting grid, uh, the top ten, and the drivers you need who are going to review the field. The pole setter of the race it is uh, Sean Angel. Yep, Sean Angel has beat Fin Guy by about two tenths. What a god he is! That is Angel first pole of the season. And he is trying to get back in the hunt, maybe even the points lead. So in second, it is Jeffy Fingai. Uh, yeah, Jeffy Fingai. Uh, he needs to get. Uh, he's also trying to get back in the hunt, like Angel. Starting in third is Will Lewis. Will Lewis, pointless, but Will Lewis, he's looking for a win, and maybe, and maybe even trying to get back in it. Trying to, trying to get back in the championship hunt. Starting in fourth it is it, it, it is Zachary Fitzwater. Yes, Sammy Fitzwater looking pretty hot right now. He's on, he's been he's been on a hot streak, which which kind of looks like. So in fifth it is Milo Smith. Milo Smith, man, you gotta stop choking this right now. Like seriously, you're on a hot seat. I feel like. So in the end, six it is DJ Curtis. DJ Curtis with, with the top five run at Vegas, then got last place at New York City, and he's back in the front again. So let's see if DJ Kurtz is trying is trying to is trying to get back on the wall. Starting in seventh is Alan Cavanaro. This is honestly the best I've seen of Alan Cavanaro the whole weekend. Um, qualifying lines at least, but yeah, he needs to pick it up quick though. Um, starting in eighth is Chica Luvia. Huh? Well, yeah. Uh, starting in ninth is is Matt Duncan, and and right now the top ten it is Chris Valentine. Okay, uh, okay, you, have, you might be wondering why the hell Chica's actually in the top 10, uh, here's the reason why, uh, uh, the, the drivers who could be in the back are Kilburn for Jr. with a backup engine, Carl Collins with a backup car, Falafin with a backup engine, Richards also with a backup engine, Vazak with a backup engine as well, Darren Young, a backup car, and not so Supernachi. Um, he's in last place. You might be wondering, uh, you might be wondering why the hell Supernachi is not supposed to make his misery. Supernachi is supposed to be around third place qualifying wise, which 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 would put him to 36th place. Um, yeah, he got a backup 
Uh, yeah, he had, he had to go with the backup engine, first of all, and after that, he wrecked his primary car. So that pumps him to be in 42nd place. Yeah, again the guys are, again the guys are, Nasu Subanachi is starting for Decatur, and he has a broken rib, so we, so we gotta keep in mind, we're going to keep a constant update right now with Subanachi, uh, as the best way we can, so, and we just gotta hope God that Subanachi will be okay. And well anyway guys, that's basically, this is basically what we got right now, it's a bit of a long, it's a bit of a, of a long P-Race as, as, as normal, but, but this is, but this is actually major news, especially coming, especially, especially coming from Subanachi. So anyway guys, I mean guys, uh, let's just go, let's just go to the green flag now, We're going to go green flag here in just a moment here, everybody's getting ready to go, Sandy start here, and we are, strange leading the flag, come on, and we are green flag here at Decatur. Oh! Oh my god! Fitzwater! Fitzwater with a fantastic start! And he gets the lead of the race! Oh my god! It's like Fitzwater! He just sniped! He just sniped the lead of the race here at the cater! Oh my god! Did that just happen? Did that just seriously just happen? Fitzwater just cut the lead of the race here! Oh, what a start! Oh my god, Chica is... Lewis is falling all the way down! Oh my god! Everybody slipping and sliding! Guys, what? This is not the final lap! Oh man, everybody's flowing through this track like it's like nothing! So, right now, Angel! Uh, weirdly enough, he has to... Now, well, so Angel got a new task! Uh, now he has to deal with Sakami Fitzwater! Yes, Sakami Fitzwater! Of all drivers, uh, for the lead of Ace here. Yeah, Chica's up to fifth. Excuse me? Uh, I don't know why Chica's up here so early, but okay. That's one of the most unique starts I've ever saw in my entire life. So, it's like we fits one. It's gonna lead, uh, a lap here at, at Decatur. I, it's interesting just to see that, honestly. It's so weird. So, yep, so yeah, it's official. Fitzwater leads the first half of the race here. So, yeah, Fitzwater, he needs to hold it for the next 29 laps. So, yeah, Fitzwater, good luck, because he got home against Angel, Fengai, and Lionel Smith. I don't know about fucking Chica, but that's, that's a fucking wild call there. It's a pretty calm, it's, it's pretty calm second lap right now, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Chica is just my, is just my own business, but Lionel Smith, he kinda wants to get into this little action. Kinda wants to. Oh, oh, that's a little bit con that's a little bit almost touchiness between the Porsche teammates. But Angel though, I think he wants to lead back. Because I don't quite think Angel did not expect Fitzwater to to have the main star like that. Uh me either. Uh so yeah, Fitzwater, he's gonna have a nice little challenge for for Sean Angel. Oh okay, Fitzwater, he's he's uh he's gonna He's better hope God. Uh, he just better hope God that he's gonna do the uh, the best he can. Because Angel is going to try to make a move in the sweeper. Oh, that's so close. Oh, that's so close. A Angel did look. He did attempt. He did attempt a pass, but he but he kind of kind of feels like he has no confidence uh, at that turn yet. But he's gonna try and the garbage dump. Oh, that's a little bit of contact. Oh, that's a little bit of contact. That uh, that that's a touch. That is a touch. That's a touch by Angel though, and Angel is going to get the lead of the race here at Decatur. Yep, y yep, yep. Yeah, that is a touch. We, we confirm that that is a touch. Now Fengai is getting ready to be pounced by Mario Smith, but Fengai is going to hold the position by the looks of it. Yep, yep. Fengai did so. So battle between teammates by the looks of it, as Angel, he's kind of basically going to walk away if Fitzwater does, does not close the gap, or if Angel just fucking chokes. As Fengai is leaving, might have sniffed the door open? Uh, excuse me, what? Uh, both will lose as well, excuse me, that's an interesting, what? Oh, uh, that's pretty weird. Uh, Fengai, you just allowed Chica to pass you for fourth. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit confused about that, but... Oh, Chica? Chica? Oh my god, Chica! That is not... Ch 
Chica almost squeezed Fin Guy, and then Fin Guy got pissed at, at, at Chica. Now, now we'll get ready to do the crossover now. Oh my, uh, okay. I see. I see what's going on here right now, huh? Wow, Fitzwater has already caught up to, uh, or have already, have already caught up to Sean Angel. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, get, yeah, I know, right? Um, I'm not dreaming here, and this is the reality that Fitzwater actually has some pace to keep up with the 20, but, but Hamilton Autosports and Red Bull Racing, even though they're the same manufacturer, they both had completely different in turn, like they both had completely different cars. Red Bull focuses on the chassis and the aerodynamics, while while Hamilton focusing on the power. But by the looks of it, but but by the looks of it, uh, uh it kind of seems like, it kind of seems like both these drivers are kind of be equal right now. But but it, it's kind of it's kind of depends on who's gonna make the least who's gonna make the least amount of mistakes. Before we got no DNFs yet, which I'm pretty happy. Um, so far, which I'm very surprised though. No DNFs. Oh, never mind, I lied. Okay, Burnford just died again. Yeah, Burnford. Yeah. I think Burnford, he, I think he screwed up and, and so did Henry Sanford. Those are the top two, those are the two drivers in the, in the top ten of points. That's interesting. Uh, but other than that though, it's pretty calm. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the, it's one of the team of starts, other than what happened to Sanford and Burnford. Uh, as we got a battle for the, as we don't have too many battles right now. Oh, Will Lewis though. I don't know. I don't know what's going to. Be, I, I don't know what's going to be Will Lewis right now. But his car may not be looking as he wanted to. As he dropped down from, as he started in third place with all the penalties. Uh, from the other drivers, he's now dropped. He's now dropped back to to P7 or P8. I think it's P7, but I'm not so sure. So I don't know what's going on with the with the 99 right now. So I'd rather so I'd rather be maybe I'm maybe concerned about that part. As Lewis, he's he's forcing the pressure in the snake, and that's costing him a lot of time right now. It seems like everything was going so well um, until until I think Bun I until I think Bunford just overdrove the corner and just got into the 24, destroyed 24 and the 38. So yeah, Burnford just he kind of he kind of did this thing himself, really, as he basically is out of this race. Yeah, I I, I don't understand Burnford. What was that? I I really don't understand that logic though. That's that is that is such that is not the best logic time about. He just overdrove the corner, got into the twenty four. Just simply just put it like that. It destroyed it. It destroyed the car. Both both of the cars, though. As for the contact, that is very concerning as well. That's 160. Oh. Now that is actually concerning. Very concerning there. Um, as we as we mentioned about the Supernatural so incident, uh, he he's racing with the broken rib, which is quite interesting. Very bored as well. Uh. We gotta deal with Henry Sanford. Oh man, that is actually head on to the wall. That's Garvel too, at a hundred sixty plus, which is actually which is actually a lot faster than Subanaji right now. Oh goodness. As for Burnford, he's somehow able to drive that car okay, which I'm very which I'm very damn surprised. But but as for Sanford, he may be taken to the medical center. As a precaution, because that is not a safety barrier. That is a guardrail. I can kind of tell because it doesn't have. Yeah, that is not a safety barrier. That is a guardrail. If it was a safety barrier, then we would have saw uh, the the styrofoam like uh, barrier. But that is a hard impact. It doesn't look violent, but it does have a but it does have an impact uh, on the driver himself. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep a close eye on Henry Sanford as as that is because that is a potential injury risk right now. So injury risk is looks like is either low or medium, but but it, but it also may be high because I because I'm not so sure uh, on, on on the condition. 
But I still hope God the Henry Sanford is going to be okay. Uh, one more time. Burn for got into the 24. And bam. Jeez. Man. That's... The sun of changes just, just make it just, just a little bit too violent. I do have some minor concerns for some drivers though. Like Nick Pellicris. Nick Pellicris, he needs to get the he, he needs to get the ball warm right now, okay? Like Pellicris needs to get points right now in his face. Uh like like come on dude. Like come on, you should not be behind you you, you should not be you should not be behind a number two driver. Um as like, I, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not so sure what's going on with Pelicans right now. He is just off right now. Uh, and he actually, and he actually was supposed to start in last place. But unfortunately, though, thank God for penalties, though. Uh, not penalties. Uh, thank God for. Uh, thank God for uh, points. Oh, well, and this is interesting. Tommy Turbo is now up in the top ten after he passed a Matt Duncan for position. Yes, this is actually Matt Duncan in the 16, and he passed him up. Matt Duncan does not want Luke Trigger to make a move, so he's going to block the inside line the best way he can. And let's uh, see. Oh, Trigger! Oh! Oh, Trigger just got in! Trigger just got in Matt Duncan! Oh my god! Oh, Luffy wants to go 3 Why now? Oh my god! What is this? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, that was almost a potential wreck! Oh my gosh! The Mavic Boost Alliance nearly just... They nearly shot each other in the foot again! Ryder Smith is also in this mix right now. Uh, Ryder Smith though, not bad right now. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's actually gonna get some raw points uh, so far, at least. Oh, that's Devin Young though. Oh, Devin Young may got some problems. He's actually off the pace. Oh my. Uh, maybe something did happen. Oh, uh oh. We got a couple of we got a couple of problems by the looks of it because Young, Brock, and Marshall got involved in something. Um, okay. I think Super Nachi's speaking has gotten a lot worse. Oh my God! What? No! Are you being for real? Goodness gracious! Young, what was that? He just dumped. He just dumped 87. Oh my god. Really after that, uh, Subanachi is immediately taken to the care center. It's because of, it's because of the book of ribs. They're now going to do extensive uh, care with him right now. I'm pretty sure that Subanachi's gonna be out of the race for Michigan most likely because because first of all he got a book of ribs. But second. That's that is another violent crash for Subanachi. Young is trying to get past Subanachi, then Young just he just fucking dumps he just he just inspicably dumps the, the 87. Oh my god, dude! Oh that for what? For what? 39th? It means fucking nothing! It means fucking nothing! It's it's the fight for the winner's spoon, you know, this is not even last place! Jesus Christ, dude! Come on, that is not necessary. Way not necessary for that. As for Supernaji, that is a that is another vicious impact. He only got a broken rib and happy hour, and this is going to be the ice and the cake. It okay? I'm looking at okay. I'm looking at this right, right now. Uh, the sand pit did help to slow down the momentum. So that so so it's good news though. And you also what uh, and you also got a little bit of some of the grass too, so that's good. He hit the wall like that. And and, and the tailgate, okay. It's okay, but 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 the front impact did kinda hurt a little bit, but but the thing is though, I'm gonna worry about the I'm gonna worry about the battle rolls, because that is just sudden changes. A momentum for Sumanaji. And he went airborne upside down too. Ooh man. That's gonna be an instant. Instantaneously it'll be checked up. Um, we gotta remember that Sumanaji is 
immediately taken to the medical center, uh, trackside, and they're going to evaluate him and probably going to ship him to a local hospital just in case. Just in case they need to perform any type of intensive, any type of, any type of intensive care. It's not life-threatening. It's not a life-threatening injury, kind of like similar to the Richard Young incident, but, but this one is, this is honestly one of the worst injury scenarios we ever have. Uh, and in a very long time, I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it never happened. It's, it's, it's a long time. There's one more time here. Uh, here's, here's a here's a different angle. Young. See, but now he's gonna take his own line. As Young, he is gonna take the outside line, which is not the preferred line. But then, Derek Young. Oh God, this is such a good this, this is such a good camera angle there. Um, maybe Subinachi may not, maybe Damian may not turn Su uh, Subinachi, I'm not so sure, uh, the, uh, the symptoms, the, the symptoms he's special are going to make a ruling on that, but, but it's going to, basically, uh, it, it's just, it, it's just a potential, it's, it's just so happy that it's so heated up that we actually got a injured driver, uh, racing, and it, an official race. I also see Greg Marshall in the back and get some more. Feels like to turn the 28 car. Oh, a little bit vicious though, but that is no harm, no foul. That is one of the most aggressive moves we have seen. Major da it's a little bit of damage, but open there goes Binky. Okay, uh, everybody's going, everybody's going off the track. It kind of seems like now. Oh, Namgi's just shoving you, just shoving you off the course. That is actually legitimate. As for get some more, uh, that's very unnecessary to do that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, he got on the bad bump and it just turned to 28. That's very, that's very unnecessary, uh, by get some more though, uh. But that'd be warrant a time penalty of, I believe, uh, I, they say for five seconds. Uh, because that is actually supposed to be a pass for position, but it somehow it just turned out to be... It does somehow turn out to be get some more um, taken out, uh, just taken out. Uh, uh, Greg Marshall. As for Asher Brock, because because Asher Brock also did a thing. I know, I know. Oh, oh, did she make a mistake or oh, her car's broken? Nope, I don't quite think so yet. Unless something fucking stupid happens. Okay, so we got some things going on here. Ashley Brock is making a move, but Binky decides to do the biggest dive bomb ever. They're going 3 Y, and then Binky just dumps the 70. Yeah, hell yeah. I think everybody's uh, wanting some positions. That is fucking hilarious. Uh, Binky decides to show no remorse to Ashley Brock. There was actually no contact between, there's no contact between the... There's a little bit of contact. Because if there was contact. Okay, let's see here. I cannot see from that angle. There was no contact at all between the 70 and the 19. So, which means that Binky just forced it down. He, she just forced it down in the middle and it just turned as she brought. That is gonna warrant a 5 second penalty for Binky. Yep, no shit. Uh, if there was contact between Dalton, then, then, then that would be a different story, but since Brock and Dalton did not make contact, but Binky just decides to do a little thing, then yeah, that is one at time penalty for yeah, Binky. I'm trying to get past James Shelley for the entire base right now. He's having a pretty tough time right now. It, seems, it kind of seems like Shelley actually got a good call here today. Uh, uh, we are going through these, the, we are going through these Cipri, uh, uphill S's. Shelly's gonna have to prefer a line, but we just gotta wait and see. I mean, Wayne may want to get in the battle for 3Y, but that's actually going to hinder James Shelly as a Terza is gonna make a legitimate pass for James Shelly for 15th place. Next up is Jason Burkle, who is still in 14th, consistent position. And uh, Luke Trigger is the only boost on sport cars left to actually have a good. Uh, left, left to have a good run. Tommy Turbo, not bad, not bad. Um, uh, DJ's trying to pass up Chica, 
and it kind of looks like DJ may have some problems. Um, yeah, I, yeah, uh, Chica's too good for this shit. Yeah, could he gonna have a tough time with this one? Uh, he he only he only have a tough time with damn Binky last season, and this time he has not even damn Chica now. And we also got a report that Namgi also got problems. Time was going down, and he actually had to put on a new fresh of boots. Fortunately, though, this is actually almost this is actually almost the beginning of pit stops. But problem is, though, he pit in lap number eight, so he may have to so he may have to stretch out the fuel tank just just a little bit, though. But I'm not so sure yet. But we are we are lap number nine. Lap number nine is usually the open of pit stops. Since, since Namgi had pit it, uh, that's gonna be very interesting, though. Now um, the overcut works usually. The overcut works. I've seen it work. I I have seen it work. Uh, wait. Uh. Uh, Chica, a little bit off the pace. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm I'm a little really confused. Uh, so yeah, the top four all better than two seconds. By the way. Uh, DJ can get in. D DJ cause he can get in. Um, uh, Dylan Young is being a cuck. I can quite see that. Uh, he's kind of altering some of the he's altering some of the, he's altering some of the positions. He's holding the line in the snake. Not a good corner. Oh my god, that is such a terrible, terrible corner. Matt Duncan, oh no, Duncan is being boxed in. He's being boxed in by Young and Luvia, and both Trigger and both Trigger and Duncan are going to. Oh wow. Wow, that's a bit vicious here. So yeah, yeah, not too good right now. Open, oh, open oh, this. Oh, Greg Marshall, I forgot he's actually here. Oh shit, I forgot about him. Oh my, so Decatur's not becoming a lot. It's kind of seems like lot traffic is playing involved in Decatur. I had never seen lot traffic playing involved in Decatur in such a long time. Finn guy passes up Adam Smith for P3. Oh, they're going three. Why? Well, excuse me. What the hell? But the Smith is somehow going to keep P3 after all that? <laughs> <coughs> wow. Wow. Just wow. Anybody going down pit road? Is that because I seen drivers going down pit road sometimes, but not all the time though. Tommy Turbo has, has lost some ground. The Tails is starting to lose some ground, but not much though. I'm surprised that the Tails is, is actually. I'm surprised that Brian. Uh, not the Tails, but Brian's actually. Oh, he's actually doing okay on his first. On, on, on the first 17th series road course. You know, top 20, 17th, not bad. Uh, not a good. Not a very good move, but let's see. Uh, okay, it's a pretty okay move. The Tails is still in top 50. Jason's still in 14th. Damn. This top 4 is all like. They're all like so close to each other. I have never seen a I have never seen a top four so close and and such and such a and such a good bit, honestly. They're within two seconds. They're actually within a second and a half. But pit stops do matter though. Fritz Water is in a he's in a very cozy second place right now. Angel. He's he's in first place right now because for the fastest lap. Chica, the best of the best for some apparent reason. Curtis with a wow, that's a it's a booming lap time. It's probably, it's probably it's not even fucking up here. Uh, pit stops are happening. Top, top four pitting. Fifth, sixth, seventh. No. Oh, Cavanaugh has to stay out forcefully. And Trigger's going to stay out because it's too much traffic. Brian's going to stay out. Williams is going to. He's also going to stay out. Um. Yeah. I think Kevin was supposed to come down pit low, but that's been unfortunate though because Marshall was right there. Oh my God, Chica! Oh, this is actually a wreck! Wait, did a wreck just happen? Oh my God, a wreck just happened at the pit road entrance. What the hell just happened? Okay, um, something just hilarious just happened. Uh, this is Marco Rossi, and Don and Rossi are trying to get that pit road, and then that just happened. Yeah, that's actually pretty damn fucking hilarious. That's one. Of, that's one of the. That's very goofy. That's I'm not, I'm not a lie. Uh, Moore just decides to fuck over to the damn corner. Binky actually doing the best job. That's honestly the best pit bull interest I, I actually ever saw for Binky ever. And yeah, wow. Um, 
Yeah, Dodge, you, you, you need to get your shit together because that is not, that's not pretty cool, man. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, Lewis! Lewis! Oh goodness, anybody's hitting my pit road. Angel's off! Minus Smith, Minus Smith, Minus Smith is behind him! Fingai! And, and Fitzwater. So Fitzwater has dropped from second to third. But Minus Smith, he's in second place. He does have a shot. But, oh my god, Will Lewis. And uh, he made some contact somewhere. I think he made contact with DJ Curtis. Okay. Let's see if that's actually the case. If not, it's Chica. Chica actually lost a lot of time, and so did. Okay, and it kind of looks like Matt Duncan and Lou Trigger did have something in common. Oh man, man, I have a GP with a horrible release. Two horrible releases too. I'm gonna add as well. Oh god. And Dodge, you, you did, you did it again. You just, you just did it again. And you have two of them. Goodness gracious, everybody's fucking up now, huh? So yeah, um. Kevin Adams coming up pit road, and then, and then you basically got the entire OJ Manson racing team staying out. Oh my god, Brian with a terrible entry, and he's actually gonna lose position. How the fuck did you, how the fuck did you lose position like that? I don't even know. But Kevin Adams though, he kept trying to get in the top 5, because he actually did an, he actually did an overcut, probably by accident. But it's still at best in the skies. Wow, that's actually a pretty, pretty quick change. And here's the 18. Is 18 gonna fall in line up though? There's Valentine. He's coming out though. And Angel is in still in the lead though. And Kavanaugh though. He's in third. No, fourth. Maybe, maybe in the top five? Oh, something happened in, in, in the front stretch. Wow, Kevin now, now jumps to fourth. What an incredible, man, wow, wow, what an incredible uh, turn of events there. As now, Angel, he has a good lead right now over, oh, over Ryder Smith and Jeffy Fengai, and then, and then his team of Al Cavanaugh and Fitzwater. Chris Valentine's a six. Curse is seventh. Ace is turbo. Nice is Mad Dunk. My top ten it is it is Will Lewis. Wow, I, wow, I can definitely see the damn damage. Uh, so so right now Will Lewis he needs to fight a damaged car against it, it kinda seems like two it, like those are the two member GP cars who, who actually got some dirty contact. And they somehow holding up uh is, is somehow holding up another car behind them. Amazing. I know, I, I, I never quite expect that. We'll be getting a little bit too impatient right now. As he is going to do a double overtake on the outside. He is prompted for one of them to make a mistake. And he's gonna hope that Matt Dung is, is going to take it. Yep, here we go. Uh Libby is hoping that Oh wait! Okay, so Matt Duncan just blew by Lewis. Oh no! So Lewis, the contact actually did affect the car by the looks of it. Oh my god, that's a fucking bus stop, my god, Lewis. Uh, Tommy Turbo is, is actually having one of the faster cars out here. Ex uh, yeah. Uh, Tommy Turbo. Having a pretty good run. He already, he already passed up Chris Valentine for position. He might be looking for a top five if he, if, if he gets, a, if he gets another good pit stop, so. I'm gonna keep an eye on him right now. Okay, this is actually even more interesting. Um, uh, we got a wreck. Uh, Princess turns Jake Passenger into Marco Bossi. And there goes his day. Airborne too, by the way. And got into the safer barrier. So, yep, Mossy's gonna be okay. That is a safer barrier. And there goes his day. That's honestly one of the most that's actually one of the most unique areas to make, honestly. Uh Princess. She's actually in the points, funny enough though, but but that is honestly pretty damn stupid though. That's gonna want a five second penalty. Um so so more Binky and Princess are going to five second penalty so far in this race. 
as actually, the virtuals may give it a 10, but, but we're gonna give it confirmation on that. Uh, yep, a third boot on sports cars just went fucking full book already. Yep, already. Um, so, uh, here's Chris, so here's Chica. She got her own problems already. Then all of a sudden, uh, Luke Trigger, even though he, and then Chica decides to cut and decides to bump Trigger. Oh my god. What the fuck? Uh, that's very unnecessary. Both these drivers were trying to merge. Both these drivers were actually, they're actually trying to merge, but holy crap, they, they, they did a horrible job. As Chica, she just went full on left. Oh my, that is, that is just full blown fucking intent. That warrants a 10 second penalty right there by Chica. That is just, that is just not, not good. Uh, that is just not good, really. That is not a good thing. Like, come on now. Really, Chica? You don't need to damn do that like that. My god. Never mind then. She's actually in the back anyway, so. So her penalty actually is meaningless. Uh, as for the rest of the field, everything's all, everything's all good. Everything's all good now. There's some status quo, but not really, though. Uh, it kinda looks like the kinda looks like the Porsche teammates, they're gonna try to work together the best way they can. Uh Fink Guy okay, Fink Guy got a little bit loose there, but uh, that's fine though. But they get I think that they can close to Angel. But I think they have enough time though, I think. They, they have enough time, but but we just have wait but we just gotta wait for the we just gotta wait for the final pit stop though. You also have one wing uh who the fuck's leading in the near points? Uh Good question, because I'm just as lost as I'm just as lost as basically you guys are. Um, Kazuki Takamoto, uh, where is he? Uh, we know that Brian got his, we know that Brian got his own issues. Um, uh, not Brian, uh, Bastinger, he got his own issues. Um, where the hell is Takamoto? Hey, there he is. He's actually in 23rd. Oh my gosh. Marshall got issues. Boomfar, he dead. Valentine, oh. Oh, Valentine may actually take on the points lead. That was Parker, though. Oh, well. Yeah, uh, well, you, you beat Takamoto, but that's, but that's not good enough, though. So, your points lead is gonna be Chris Valentine. Wow. Um. Wow, I got nothing to damn say. Chris Valentine. Oh wow, uh, yep, I, I did saw that. I did saw Luvia trying to pass that Matt Duncan for position. Honestly, that's... Honestly, that's... Uh, that, that's, that's honestly one of the better moves he made so far in his... <laughs> in his neutral career. But anyway, back, back, back to this boy. This boy was hot garbage uh, in his rookie year. Even though he got a win, but... And basically one of the craziest ways ever. He was hot garbage. But the thing is, though, he got the massive turnaround. He, his career just took a, he took a huge rocket. Like, come on now, like, 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 come on, like he, he basically, his career basically just got best of actor, and he's actually doing, doing a great job, and he's going to potentially take home the points lead. What, what a job by, what a job by Chris Valentine. What a job. Wow, ain't hey, wow, Angel is. Based on cruise control, while the Porsche gang are uh, steady 124s. Um, so yeah, Angel. Um, it's you're you're middle of the right now, by the way. You're on middle of the right now. Oh, it's not traffic though. It's Devin Young. Oh boy. Let's see what Neil's gonna do this time. Young, he's gonna hold the outside line. That's okay, I guess. It's not the worst line of time though. You hold up on. Okay, so far so good, ain't... Okay, Young, he's gonna hold the inside line. Oh my! Um, that did... Okay, that's not good. I'm surprised that Angel actually screwed up that corner though because... Be, be, because the outside line is pretty damn good. And he got stole. That's going on, that's going on the 12 and the 2 to, to close it to the 20. And he goes to pit road. Oh my! That, that did not suit with Rochelle Angel at all. Oh no! Angel has lost a good lead! Now everything is now basically less than a second at this point. 
Yeah, here they go. Now we got a three court battle here. That's Angel. Angel, oh boy. Oh boy, um, Angel, you, those Porsche guys are up the close net rapidly right now. Oh my goodness. I, this is honestly the first time Porsche games, they actually look at together for once. What a shock. Oh my god, they are now less than, okay, at this point, they look like they're less than five, like five tenths of a second. Which is absolutely nuts, uh, which is, which is absolutely nuts for this track. Oh, uh, we're gonna have it. we're gonna have a banner for the lead in just a moment here. We're not gonna lie, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have a battle for the, we're, we're gonna have a battle for the lead here. Because Ronald Smith, he's closing the gap right now. And oh my, he is hungry for his second career Sim Gym Series win here. First on the road course though. And especially on a track like this. Here we go here, Ronald Smith, he needs to get some points quick right now. And so far, he's doing it just right though. Oh my gosh. I think Ronald Smith is getting ready to do some shady things right now. It's interesting to see Ronald Smith not in Hamilton All Sports facing his boss in IES. I know, that'd be weird. Oh my, here we go here. Bound for the lead here in the snake. Oh, Angel. Angel did okay. Angel did okay, but Ronald Smith, he got a little more momentum right now. We are going to the sweeper turn. Oh, Ryder Smith is taking the very long line, but so is Angel. He is taking on, he's taking the line away from Ryder Smith. Fang guy is not going to be part of this battle. He is just going to be patient and just and just waiting to see what's going to happen. Uh, this is based, so so the top three are within six tests with within each other. As pissed up are going to go underway in just a moment. Oh man, it kind of looks like both of the baby trap cars did something baby damn stupid, didn't they? Oh my god, guys, really? Oh, so he's trying to battle against Alice Parker for 25th, uh, or, or 24th, excuse me. Alice Parker, hard battle though, he he actually did, he actually did not give uh, Concourse too much room, so, fair, for, but have a fair game to him. Fair game though. But it kind of seems like uh, this is always going to be the tip of the iceberg. Because by the looks of it, I cannot see by that angle. Uh, here we go. I was Pokemon up the track. As Carl Collins, he did the same, but he hooked the 44 though. And yeah, it's going to put Alex into the wall. His car is immediately destroyed. And then you got Maya Cooper, who is innocently involved. That, it's a, that's a bit of a hot impact. And Princess Perko, uh,. Uh, Princess Perko, she slowed down, she panicked though. Uh, and basically had no sense of and basically had no sense of awareness. Uh, no sense of awareness at all. And she realized that she was about to hit Prince uh, 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 Alex. And Pelicans just walks his way through. That is that is just an awesome moment. Dude, like this 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 is an insane onboard. But like, look at that. Pelicans just fucking just Pelicans just been like full throttle and just does not fucking care. Like, he basically knows that his face is so fucking shit anyway. Just basically just YOLO see what happens. But Princess, that's honestly uh being princess. Hit the tailgate, that's pretty okay. Perko though, uh, his car is destroyed due to the fact that it hit him at the at the passenger side. But the thing is, I'm gonna worry about the Maya Cooper one because that's because that's gonna be the nasty one. Oh boy, that's gonna get really nasty really quick. Oh, just the tailgate though. I'm surprised it's not much fucking worse though. I'm surprised it's not much worse. Because that could have been a lot deadlier now. And then Alice also got the safety barrier. Ooh. So Alex, not only got a hit, but he also got the safety barrier. That is going to take some of the impact. I believe that is safety barrier. Yes, yes, that is safety barrier though. So that is actually pretty fortunate for Alex though. And Princess, yeah. But Alice will be taken to Alice Parker will be taken to the medical center as a precaution. 
because that looks like a very vicious incident. And, and Adam was kind of basically took two hits that were basically 150 miles an hour from two different drivers. Ouch. It was a bit weird to see that the, like, the battle for is actually gotten a little bit better now. Oh, Tommy Turbo's going for the undercut. Oh my. I see why this. Like, I don't know, I spent, but Tommy Turbo's going for the undercut. Yeah, I said that. Because Luke is also going for the same. Matt Duncan? No. No, he's going to be small about that one. Jason? Very small that one. Oh boy, I'm really curious about what the hell Luby and Turbo are going to think about that one. Um. Oh no, man. Up oh, there goes Luby's chance to get a nice top 10 position. Yep. Rip. Oh my, Fitzwater, that is not good driving. Holy crap. Uh, kinda, it, kinda, it kinda seems like uh, Kevin Allen could have won the battle between the damn green cars because. Because fuck Red Bull, lol. Uh, as for Angel, Angel is not finally picking up his pace. Finally. Finally, though, because it did took him basically like the maps just realize that he's being closed down by Rhino Smith and Fingai. Oh, Rhino Smith is going to stay out, but Fingai and Angel are going to stay out. Yeah, Kevin Allen's going that pit road. Uh, Kevin Allen's like staying out. What about Chris Valentine? Valentine is going to stay out. James on. He's going to come in. Okay. Uh, see, it seems like the Manson boys are going to both going to stay out, including James Shelley. Now, I get some more though. He does have a five second penalty to his name, so 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 we gotta be aware about that. Um, I don't know about Richards. She's going to have to make a hard decision, but she's going to stay out. We gotta keep an eye on Mother Smith and now we have an arrow. Uh, and maybe even Chris Valentine because those two drivers are, are staying out. The overcut is king at this track. So here we go. Let's is in. Kevin and Kavanaugh is staying out again. Oh god. Oh wow. Kevin and is staying out big time here. Uh, what about Valentine? Valentine is also staying out. Oh my. These and uh, Lewis. Uh, I think Lewis is a lap down, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh no. Oh, that's sad. I'm. So, I'm. I'm so. I feel, I feel something going Lewis right now. And Brian's wanna stay now. So yeah, I think there's a lot of things going on right now, which I'm still confused. I think Kevin and I might be pulling the biggest stretch heist I've ever seen in my entire life right now. But the thing is though, even though the even though the overcut works, the undercut people are gonna have older tires which are somehow gonna be faster than the newer tires. Don't even ask me why, but that's just the way it is for some reason. This place is weird, so come on, I gotta give it a Benefit without the doubt. There we go. Kevin now is now in. There's gonna, there's gonna be a couple of drivers who are going to unlock themselves. Uh, Valentine, he's gonna be in. Yeah. Kevin Williams, I expect him to be in. Yes. And so is Brian. So yeah. Oh, wow. I'm see. Wow. That's the first time I saw a team strategy by RJ Manson race here. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually pretty unique. Here's the leader of the race. That's Ryder Smith. He has jumped Angel! My husband has jumped Angel in the piss cycle! Wow. Uh... But what about... But what about Cavanaro? And... No! Oh, that's so close though! Very close though! But what about Angel? Oh, Angel is gonna get second! Maybe second or third? It depends on Cavanaro! And nope, it's fourth. Oh, that's so close though. But Ryder Smith, he is going to take the lead of the race here in with a piss cycle. Second place is Sean Angel. Third, Fit Jeffy Fingar. Fourth, Al Cavanaugh. Fifth, Tommy Turbo. What? Are you telling me that the undercut also worked? What? Tommy Turbo is doing fucking black magic right now. Fifth is DJ Curtis. Seven is is gonna be Fitzwater. Eight is oh Chris Valentine. He did not benefit from that at all. Ninth is uh, Henry Williams. And my top ten is James Dalton. Oh what the fuck? Where the fuck did he came from? There's six laps to go here. 
it, 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 it can still happen. Uh, we see some weird shit happening at this place, but okay, there's actually another. There's actually gonna be two lap cars probably gonna be involved. Um, Ashley Block and maybe with Chica. No, not Chica. We will we'll confirm that. Uh, no. I think much stuff needs now now needs now needs to do with Chica, isn't he? Oh, barely though. Barely. Oh my God. Oh my god, they both side by side! Oh my god! Oh my god, that could have been a lot that that could be a lot dumber than than really looks. I'm gonna check that I'm gonna check on the points lead. Uh I also see that Yeah, Valentine is confirmed that he's gonna beat your new points leader after Decatur. So wow, what a what what an incredible feat for for Chris Bauer time, would you look at that? This man has done it now. Tommy Turbo in fucking fifth? This boy is a fifth! He's pushing the car to, to the absolute limit right now! Kevin Navo, finally he's actually getting something go uh, he actually gets something going right now. But Angel though, he's closing the gap slowly with five laps to go. Oh boy, it's gonna be pretty damn close though. I have no idea if Troy is actually going to have enough time to, to close down on Rhino Smith. It's going to be rather close. A lap car can help, but okay. Uh, we might have, because, because, uh, because uh, the gap was actually about 3.24 seconds with six laps to go. That's, that is a lot of time. If Rhino Smith screws this up, oh my god. This might be the biggest choke of his entire yeah, career. Yeah, Kevin Adams gave me to kill Chica, but but Tommy Turbo, he wants that P4 position along with Cousin, along with Cousin Fitzwater. Fitzwater can gain the points lead, but he he needs more, he, 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 he needs more positions though. That's the problem though. Uh, as Turbo, oh my God, dude, Tommy Turbo is on a roll right now. He, Tommy Turbo actually got all the tires to Kevin now, and he's actually flying through the course right now. As, oh boy, here comes the lap cars. How's the gap right now? Oh, gap has opened up to, okay, the gap has opened up to 3.3. I can't believe that I actually opened up the gap. I don't know, I just don't know how he even did that. Turbo though, he's actually closing the gap. Like it's nothing right now. He's closing the gap. Curtis though, he wants to, he wants to play spoiler. Oh my God, Curtis, you are you're gonna do this to him? Why gonna do this to Tommy Turbo? But oh my goodness. Well, that's not a bad run for Tommy Turbo though. Having a top five run is something. But my goodness. Oh man, Tommy Turbo though. Curtis for him though, he, he actually almost got a top five run though. And David Voss actually got some points. Sonny broke the car. He broke the car and. Gonna be in 25th place. Honestly, I'm surprised he even got fucking points anyway. Uh, for a lot of fun as well, not bad. But it's done, not the best, but it's something. Uh, uh Snip Pellegrini's in 22nd, not bad comeback. Chris Ruby in 21st, not the way he wanted to be. Carl Collins in 20th, uh, we deemed that, that contact with Alex is a little bit. It looks like a recent deal, so Carlos is going to be okay, surprisingly. Lamke in 19th, which I'm really damn surprised. He even made a comeback. That dog in 18th, that's honestly, that's honestly one of the worst runs that this team ever had. Joe Richards in 17th. A great comeback by Joe Richards. Started in 39th, up to fucking 17th. What a run by Joe Richards. 16th gets some more. What? That's interesting. Binky is somehow 15th, which I'm surprised she even made it up this far. And Jason in 13th, not bad. The Terrors in 12th. And Brian the 10th. I mean 11th, excuse yep, me. Yep, I know. Yeah. Um, uh, something happened. Bas uh, the Terrors does not want to deal with, uh, passenger shit. And decides, and decides to destroy his car. Hit him in the garbage, though. Hard hit, though. But unfortunately, though, it's not, it's not the driver's side impact. So, yep. We're good to go. And after that, that is no, that's not more than a penalty, but because because passenger is already having a bad day as it is. Oh, Angel is being challenged by Jeffy Finger for position. He's at the bad bumper though. Side by side. 
no! Oh, there was contact between it! There was contact between the two in the 20! That's not, that's, that's, that's not even the battle for the lead! This race was very interesting. Very interesting race, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's one of the most interesting races we actually had. Uh, Decatur is very interesting. There's a couple of nasty hits, but oh my gosh, it's pretty cool. Not bad. It's not bad of a race, I guess, but oh my. Could have been a lot of us, though, especially, especially, especially with all those injuries. Uh, my goodness. But, Ryan Smith, though. My goodness, uh, this boy has got zero ball points, and he's actually going to just snipe this win. Uh, with, with, with an amazing pistol strategy. My goodness. Don't choke it, boy. Don't choke it. Don't do not choke this. If you choke this, you are basically banned. White flag is in the air for Ryder Smith. Here we go here. The gap has went down, but come on, come on now. He has a come on now. He has tons. He has a ton of time to race the way. Ryder Smith though, he's basically had 10 points. He's gonna be in the championship hunt by the looks of it. Oh, man, there's smoke. Oh, probably, some, probably something else. But, here we go. Ryder Smith, though, he's, he's, he's being this battle. And so is Angel. And so is Fang Guy. And so is Kevin Allen. And so is Curtis. So, finally, the status quo has happened. About time, right? Not to we go to Michigan, which is going to be a bit more dank. Oh, boy. But, here we go. There's nothing stopping him. Other than Will Lewis, he, he, he could be a dick if he wants to, but he's gonna pay a little bit of specs. Oh, wow. I, I can see Angel Finger closing down. The problem is, though, too... Not enough time. There's not enough time. Too little, too late. Off the final quarter, Ryder Smith is going to take hold his first win of the season at, at Decatur. And he takes it here! Second place is Sean Angel. Wow. Wow, wow. And he, and he also set the fastest lap as well. Wow. Uh, almost the fastest lap. Third place, Jeffy Fengai. Fourth, it is, it is our Kevin Navel. Fifth, it is... Fifth it is uh DJ Cutter. Sixth is 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 Sappy Fitzwater. Seventh, Tommy Turbo. Eighth, Chris Farrantine. Confirm. Chris Farrantine is gonna be your new police leader after Decatur. What an amazing feat that is. Ninth, Henry Williams. My other top ten is James Dalton. Wow. About time Dodge actually got something for once. Um what? Um, okay. Seems like Jason and Terrence are having a little bit of fun. And it kind of seems like they have. It kind of seems like they kind of been having, didn't they? Uh, might as well, might as well see this one little thing before we, b before we head off to the stand. Oh! oh! Um. <laughs> um. Did I just saw a battle for position and it ended up in a regular roll course in Decatur? What? <coughs> oh no, it's Chica. Oh. Oh, it was so tight though. I You cannot blame no one for that. I'm sorry, but you, you cannot blame. Like, there's so much bull crap you gotta damn deal with. Because Chica decides to block the inside lion. And then Moore saw an opportunity trying to pass up uh, Shelly. And then everybody just got too close. And that is basically it. We actually, we actually, almost, went, we actually almost went four wide in the final corner. What the fuck? Shelly though. Oh man, that's a tough break for James Shelly though. But let's see though. Let's see. He's going to finish the points though. I think he may get finishing the points, but... But that is just unfortunate, though. But yeah, uh, th that's interesting. 
That's very interesting. I can't believe that just fucking just happened. He's gonna finish outside the damn top 20, isn't he? Yep! He finished at 22nd. Oh my god, and Pelicrease squeaked away with a top 20 position. How the fuck you imagine him do that, Pelicrease? My god. And it was over to you. There we go. Northern Bulls Binky somehow fucking 15th. Uh, we also gotta mention, um, uh, time penalties. For, uh, uh we, we also gotta mention time penalties. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we, uh, more. Uh, Moore got the five second penalty earlier in the race, so Moore, um, between, between the contact between Moore and, and Marshall, so Moore is going to drop down to, uh, well, no, I'm going to deal with that in just a moment, don't worry about that, fuck it, uh, I will see you guys for the results, okay, so, anyway, anyway I will see you guys, uh, uh, for the standings, and, uh, and, and also has the best of the field. Oh, wow, that's a bloodbath. Alrighty, let's go over for the point standings, yo. Uh, okay, let's go to the factories. Uh, factory, uh, Toyota showing his muscle again. Uh, but, 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 uh, they actually extended the lead, e e even without the win. And then after that, you got Chevy and Ford with the neck and neck battle. Porsche came up in fourth due to the win and Due, due to Ronda Smith's win and Finn Guy's uh, podium performance. Then you got Dodge, Subaru, Pontiac on Byron out for the fifth, and those V2. Still sticking with that 26 points. Uh, let's go to the rookies. Uh, yep, rookies. Uh, Kasuke Takamoto. Takamoto got a got a average performance, but 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 he still got a 14.7 place finish. But the thing is, though, Namgi actually got his first start of the season finally, as it actually took him basically to, to the third race. Yeah, he's up to second with an average pace of 16 out of one race man. Then Brian in the 17th, and they have odds like of a 20.3. But honestly, I did not expect this to be a little bit closer than I really thought. But yeah, and then and then Alex Constantine and Tyson McLean, yeah, just a basically. People who do not want to be in the bottom. Spec cars, uh, honestly, uh, yeah, not much to damn say. The 16th team actually has the most points, and uh, the 16th car has the most points out of the entire full time uh, car grid. No shit. They actually have more points than the points leader. By the way, I'm shocked, but yep. Um, the, yep, Matt Duncan's gonna have a nice fight at Auto Club. Uh, on, on the max, they probably. Uh, however, though, uh, they only got a. T they have a. They finished in 18th, which allowed Tommy Turbo's uh, performance even make a bit more promising. When Namgi's run, the record balls got more points. But. Uh, but. Uh, but. Uh, the, uh, but the 4 team and the 41 team, they need something going and maybe, and maybe a little luck going on. As for the 10 team, still no points yet. Uh, let's go to the teams. Maverick GP, again, over 400 points, and uh, after that you got Hamilton All Sports, Manson, SB Porsche moving up there. Baby Tribe is doing pretty well, be beating out Boost All Sports, Red Bull Racing. There could be a lot higher if Pelicans can can, 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 at least, can at least can step up. Akuma Motors, Record Balls, Pontiac, Nexus, Anthony Motors, Stars Motors Sports. Uh, they, they actually got a pretty good performance out of James Donner, but it's just. They are still the risk. They still the risk. That's that's not a Doge coin. I mean, that team, man, man, that team needs something going. Honestly, I, I, feel, I feel bad for that team. Uh, let's go to driver standings again. As I said, Chris Valentine takes on the point lead, but as I did not expect, Angel will be taking the point lead as well. So yeah, uh, Angel, yeah, uh, you're one point away from taking on the points lead. Uh, and then you got Jeffy Fengai and Fitzwater tied. Yes, tied. Yeah, they we yeah, actually gotta go through a a six tiebreaker of average finish, and Fengai got got a bit of average finish than Fitzwater. Yeah, this yeah this top ten is pretty damn dank. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of the dankest, but it's it's interesting. Uh, 
So yeah, the top five is quite interesting. Takamoto dropped down in points. Uh, he's now well, he is now uh, six in points now. And for the first time in Super Series history, that no driver has achieved 200 points or more after three races, and and that's quite and that's quite shocking. So this has been one of the craziest stars of the season. Uh, if you are Valentine, you can take a point lead after Michigan. And if you are my, if you are, I don't know, Chris Luvia, for example. Yeah, you can take on the points lead. You can take on the points lead. So basically, yeah, anything can go. Is anyway. And yes, Binky has a shot to take on the points lead for some reason. Don't don't even ask me. But uh, everybody has no moments, I guess. But anyway, guys, that's kind of basically all we have right now. Um, uh, big, uh, any other shotguns other than that? Uh, Jason is still in 11 points, which is actually still pretty damn good. He may even he may even try trying to get in the top 10 at Michigan, trying to at least. Uh, which has got a pretty okay run. And as for the bottom, uh, oh, Lewis got three points at least. So, I mean, not these points, two points at least. Excuse me, my bad. And that's basically it. And we basically got three drivers who have yet to score, which is Hassan McLean and and the ten car drivers of Shane Carter and Marco Rossi. Ugh, man, I can't believe this. Three DNS for those guys. Are you be for real? But anyway, guys, that's what we have right now. Next race, we are going to Michigan, and. And that is gonna be, and that is basically gonna be it. Uh, we're going to give you news about the NASA Supernaji uh, incident. Uh, on what they're going to do. We have whether that Supernaji is not going to be in Michigan, and maybe even further on. But we just gotta wait and see. And guys, I am Maxim, and I'll see you guys soon. Anyway, anyway, guys, that's the top for now.